Hi, my name is Deacon Jared Brogan. I am in fourth theology, which means it's my last year here at the Theological College Seminary, which is the National Seminary at the Catholic University of America in Washington, D.C. I'm going to be making a video about a day in the life of a seminarian here at Theological College. So I hope you enjoy. It is now 6.45 in the morning, and what I do every morning is I go upstairs to the fifth floor private um, Blessed Sacrament Chapel, and I spend, I do my holy hour there each morning um, where I pray part of the office, I usually pray the rosary, um, I do some spiritual reading, and just spend some quiet time in prayer and reflection. I do that each morning because it's important to do that each day, and I find for myself that if I don't do it first thing in the morning, once classes begin and other responsibilities come in for the day, it's very hard to find an hour of time to do that. And so I usually do it first thing in the morning. So at 6.45 and at 7.45, I meet the rest of the community um, in the main chapel for morning prayer. So each day at Theological College um, is pretty much the same Monday to Friday except for a few exceptions some of the days. But every morning at 745 the whole community has to gather in the chapel either for Mass by itself, morning prayer by itself, or Mass and morning prayer combined. After Mass and morning prayer uh, most of us go to the dining room for some breakfast, but then by 9 o'clock um, most of the guys are getting ready to go across the street to the university for classes. We have here at this seminary free time from about 9 o'clock in the morning until 5.15 in the afternoon. It's free time, but most of that time is spent um, in our classes. Then, if we're not in class, we're doing work for our classes. Or we might have meetings with our spiritual directors or our formation advisors. Or we might be doing um, something in the house. We all have different responsibilities in the house which we might take care of uh, and do during those times. It's also time for just some relaxation if you want um, to do errands or whatever you need to do um, in that period. It's about eight hours so it's a big block of time but uh, there is a lot that we do here so we need that time to do all those things. At 5.15 in the evening then we come together again as a community in the chapel uh, either to pray evening prayer and one night a week we also have mass which is on Monday nights and sometimes an evening prayer is done within um, the context of a holy hour and once in a while we also pray um, a rosary together as a house. Then after the evening prayer we have dinner and then after dinner we're free um, for the rest of the evening but again this, this free time is spent doing schoolwork you can relax a little bit or again, we have appointments with our spiritual directors or advisors. Um, and one night a week on Monday nights, we have formation night, which means that the whole house um, meets together with the rector, and the rector um, gives us uh, formation, uh, gives us an address on a specific topic related to formation. Or we'd have small group formation, which uh, is when we get together with our individual classes and we meet with a particular faculty member here at the seminary uh, to address uh, particular or specific issues regarding formation. Do you have eaten 
then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. And he stationed the cherubim and the fiery revolving sword to guard the way to the tree of life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Outside Theological College. We had Mass and morning prayer this morning at 7.45. And then we had some breakfast. And now it's a little bit after 9 o'clock, and so guys will begin going to classes. In seminary formation, there are four pillars of formation. There's spiritual formation, human formation, pastoral formation, and academic or intellectual formation. Theological College is very unique when it comes to this because not all of the formation takes place in the seminary. Here at Theological College, the Sulpician Fathers, who are the priests that are on the faculty at the seminary, are responsible for our spiritual formation, human formation, and pastoral formation. Our academic or intellectual formation takes place at Catholic University, which is conveniently located right across the street. There's the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception, which is on the campus of Catholic University. And then the university goes all the way behind it. Lots of different buildings there. So all we have to do is walk across the street. Most other seminaries in the United States have their academic and intellectual formation take place within the seminary, but we are a little unique here. The biggest challenge for us is to get across Michigan Avenue without getting hit by a car. So, off to class we go. Outside the seminary, we have the statue of the Sede Sapientiae, which is Our Lady Seed of Wisdom, who is sort of a patroness of the Sulpician Fathers. And throughout the seminary, we have many images and statues of Our Lady Seed of Wisdom. So I have the Diocese of Patterson. <laughs> this is it. This is Deacon Mike Lee from Patterson and Deacon Jeff Core from the Diocese of Spokane, Washington. Deacon Nick Reed from Missouri. What's his diocese? Jefferson City. Okay. And the military archdiocese as well. Associated with the diocese, Archdiocese of Washington, some TOR brothers, Deacon Jack Dickinson, also from TC Theological College, from the Diocese of Portland, Maine. We're early for class, not many people can see. <laughs> Washington, disgusting. Why would you do that? I think that's sandwich. Deacon Mike Lee. We yeah, met him before. He is from Kim Patterson. This is Scott Homer, who is a second theologian from the Archdiocese of Washington. This is for a day in the life of a seminarian from the Diocese of Patterson. This is it.
can see the red band? Is that what? Yeah. Uh, cool. But yeah, the alpha band. This is a quarter final. Is this a quarter final? Uh, I, I think it's. This is the second round. Second round, yeah. Sparty, Iron Seminary Tournament here at the Theological College. You like the sweet sixteen, right? The sweet sixteen. Yes. Tommy Alton, that's your girl. Yes. Well, yes. Class, third class of the day. This is ordained ministries, theology of the priesthood, whatever you want to call it. Several guys from TC are here. QTOR. Two brothers. Paul, a seminarian. Two neo cats. And a few others are on their way. We can't get away. Say hi. Hi. That's Sean Prince. He's from the Diocese of Richmond. Joe Goldsmith. Both will be ordained in two weeks, less than two weeks. Nine days. Nine days to the diaconate. Are you ready? We're in single digits now. Am I ready? Are you ready? I guess. Good answer. Ready or not? Here God comes. Dan Carson from the Archdiocese of Washington. He'll be ordained a deacon in June. June 11th. Wow. I'm saying wow because it's... I can't believe it. Wow because it's soon. Right. You're ready. I know you're ready. I've been ready for years. <laughs> <laughs>